Hey, so what's going on, everybody? It's Joey. Uh, just getting off work on my way home. I'm going to go see the wife, the kids, the fam, you know, mother-in-law, my babies, my loved ones, you know. I'm going to go check them out, make some dinner, get on some Call of Duty later on, you know. We're going to smash. But uh, I wanted to really talk to you guys about... The new consoles coming out. There's some some big news coming. The consoles are almost here. You know, July just ended. August is upon us. It is upon us. Mm. Real sugar Pepsi, everybody. Bomb. Anyways, August is upon us. And, uh, you know, normally I buy all the systems. But I've kind of made the decision... To go PS5 first. And that's just because I've been playing Call of Duty with the boys a lot. And as you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, it's easy for me to stream on the streaming channel that we have. Which is IntelliBit-Streaming. Um, if you're going to check us out and play some COD with us. We have a lot of fun guys. It's really fun. Uh, and so basically what I'm trying to get at is. You know, I'm going to go with the console that's going to suit my needs more. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you about. There's a lot of stuff going on with the PS5. You know, they're using state-of-the-art uh, solid-state drives. And uh, it's supposed to be faster loading times. And that's kind of like the big deal for this next gen is the load times. But, you know, to be real with you, once, you're, once your system has things loaded... Uh, it's pretty quick, you know. I'm not even waiting that long to get into a match of multiplayer or Call of Duty on my PS4. I mean, yeah, it's cool to be ultra quick, but as a gamer, is the speed what you're worrying about? Is that like the most important thing to you? Or is there another feature that you think is not being talked about that should be talked about? So, for instance, uh, you know, for me, being a, a YouTuber and a streamer, I like social networking integration, you know. A lot of people will stream on, like, uh, Facebook, Twitch. There's no more Mixer. Mixer's out, so that makes choices a little bit slimmer. But um, that's not the importance to me. The importance to me is the tech. How long is it going to last for? Are we going to get mid-upgrades, you know? We are on the threshold of a new era of gaming, and thanks to places like NVIDIA and Google uh, kind of starting things off, um, we're talking about streaming your video games, you know what I mean? Uh, streaming your video games is kind of like where everything's going, you know? And where do these systems stand? They haven't even mentioned being able to stream, you know. I know we have Xbox Game Pass and we have PS5 Plus and uh, things like that. But uh, with that techno technology coming out, me being a console buyer, that's a major selling point. To know, am I going to be able to stream games when it becomes available? And how much is it going to cost? And, you know... All that stuff. So pledging my allegiance without enough information is I'm having a big issue with it. I'm having a problem with it. But just because PS5 is coming out and it's going to have YouTube stuff on it, I'm going to be more for that right now. Uh, they, they haven't discussed integrations of softwares and applications. And, you know, last gen, that was a big deal. They were talking about that. When Stadia was revealed, they were talking about that. Now no one's talking about it. And I think it's because the software isn't done or who knows, who knows, you know. And then that brings me to another console that hasn't been talked about, the new Nintendo system. I mean, they're obviously going to make one. I mean, right now they're milking the Switch for everything they can because it's a great handheld. Uh, the day I bought it, I said, man, this is some cool equipment. Everything on that console looks great. I mean, there's some games that shouldn't have really been pushed the way they were, but the, nonetheless, it's the full experience, and you're playing the game, and it's nice to have. I love playing Fortnite on it. 
Um, I did a review on Mortal Kombat on it. Uh, Mortal Kombat runs great on it. I mean, yeah, so it doesn't have the graphics as the big boys, but it plays awesome. And I love playing on my handheld when I'm chilling out um, and relaxing. I wish Call of Duty would have gone on the Switch. I would probably primarily play on the Switch had it been there. And if the Switch was capable, of course, of loading to YouTube, you know. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, competitive gaming, I think the Switch is coming with some new stuff. I think Nintendo's going to make a new console that integrates with the Switch. I don't think they're making another Switch. Um, and for that matter, what is needed to stream video games? A high internet connection and a decent processor. And I'm not talking a top-of-the-line processor because... Google Stadia runs off of a Chromecast Ultra. A Chromecast Ultra is, you know, I think maybe just a small little, I don't know, cell phone processor, basically. I think it's like an ARM processor or something. I got to double check on that. Uh, there was a lot of speculations on what's really in the thing. But anyways, the fact of the matter is, is your, that, I mean, if you've seen Stadia, I know it's not perfect. But this is Google's first run at it. But you got to understand, NVIDIA has been streaming games for a while already, more so in China than here in the United States. And if Nintendo can put out a system that docks the Switch uh, and the NVIDIA puts out that new console for them, they're going to be able to stream all their Nintendo games uh, more than likely. And you won't need a big old huge processor. You'll just be able to stream it. And so these big bulky, you know, load the game things like uh, like load the game on the system. How important is it? How important is it? I mean, this day and age where we're at, yeah, it sucks because we run a terabyte of information uh, quick, you know, because games are so huge. But uh, how is it working with Stadia? If you know, leave a message in the comments. I haven't done enough deep research to really uh, say much about it, but... I know that you're streaming the game. You have a, a small, like, cloud data, uh, basically, downloads. And, uh, you know, you're not storing tons of information on that because there's not tons of information on a Chromecast. So, basically, you know, these big systems with these disks, non-disk, all digital, non-digital, how long is that going to last before these companies break and you're streaming? And then at that point, it's going to be become... It's going to become who does better software. Well, obviously Microsoft does software pretty excellent. But Sony has the exclusives. They have the games. I mean, yeah, there's Halo. Ooh, big deal. Did you see the Halo presentation? I don't think many people were too excited about it. I mean, you got your loyal list, but, you know, it's not that great. It's kind of underwhelming, kind of like Skyward Sword. I know. I know. I heard some feelings. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep the feelings in your teeth, man. Don't don't come at me with that. I'm just playing. But, you know, it's an underwhelming game in comparison to what else is available. So, anyways, I think PS5 is going to be the way to go. Because I like God of War. I like the new Spider-Man, Horizon Zero Dawn. You got the bigs, you know. Um, those are things I'm looking forward to. They have some unique gameplay. But, man... The truth of the matter is, is whatever Nintendo's next console is, if it comes down to just game streams, Nintendo may take the lead because they have the exclusives. They have the exclusives. They got Splatoon. They got Smash. They got Mario. They got Zelda. You know, they got so many. They got Kirby. They got Pokemon. They got... All the Sega games come out on their systems, you know. They got Bayonetta. I mean, they got games for days, you know. I mean, Nintendo dominates in the software, period. And if they're able to stream and put out the same games that you can on a Series X, on something as small as a Switch, why, why buy the big hardware? That's what I'm getting at. The NVIDIA Shield, it's a streaming console. What does it run on? NVIDIA. NVIDIA has been doing it for a while. Everybody's acting about, like, everybody's asking which system are you going to get. I'm going to get the PS5 to start things off because they're going to come quick. They're going to have the good games. But don't you guys be surprised 
when Nintendo, Nintendo comes back from from behind, the tortoise always beats the hare. You know, everybody's talking about who's the quickest. You know what? The tortoise wins the race, bro, and it's not because he's slow. It's not because he's like this or that. It's because he's patient enough to understand how to win the race. And the way to win the race is with good, reliable content. And I think Nintendo's coming to take it. Although, PS5, bro, here I come. I'm excited. I'm going to get the disc version because I like playing uh, games later. And I'm thinking the secondary market for PS4 games is going to be pretty nice once the PS5 hits. So you're going to be able to get that stuff on a budget. Anyway, just some thoughts. Wondering what you think. Leave some information in the comments below. I'm driving home from work. I'm about to go home and make some chicken Alfredo, baby. And, you know, we're in southern New Mexico where the hatch green chili is the place to be. And so we're going to throw some of that in that mix and we're going to cook it up. And, uh... Thank you for your time. Gracias. And nothing but love your way, guys. Thank you for watching Intellibit. I'll see you next time. Peace.